Hello everyone, Alex here. Uh, I've not actually put any, anything up for New Radio Garden for a while, and that is because my microphone has actually completely gone. Completely. Well, perhaps isn't my picking up properly, and I've tried everything. But I'm back, and a lot of you have lot a lot of you, fourteen thousand of you, in fact, have watched that quarry video. So that's really good. And a lot of you have been saying that it's like it is out of date. I know that now because we're in Tech It version three. So I thought, what would it be better off to just have a nice update video and show you some more complex stuff with quarries. And this might look complex at the moment with all these different blocks and whatnot around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. So if we start, uh, you might remember the quarry powered by two steam engines. That's still the same. And red insulated wire. And you can obviously you can fake that on and that should start making the... And they'll start going and it'll start making the border. And you may also notice that that's got a bit funny. That the um the quarry's a lot bigger than last time. And that is something called landmarks, which I'll show you how to set up soon and I put on top of a nice little cave. Brilliant. Uh yeah. So that's landmarks, which I'll explain. And what else have we got? So we've got coming down here, if you've watched the pipes episode, you'll see we've got a gold pipe here to speed it up. A diamond pipe to sort out stuff to go over to there for the chests and the rest of it comes around here goes either left or right if it goes left I've got all yours set to go left into the macerator to be turned into dust and come out and into the iron furnace which I need to pipe into a chest which I've not set up still because uh, I'm unorganized like that and everything else easy cobblestone gravel marble has all come here into the into the recycler which is going to be then pumped, it will then be pumped into a chest, which will be turned, because it will turn into scrap eventually. And scrap can be turned into something called UU matter, which I'm not going to go into now because that's, that stuff can get fairly odd and complex. But I will go into it eventually in another episode. We'll talk about UU matter because UU matter is something you can use to make nearly everything in, well, not everything, but you can make a lot of raw materials out of it, like diamonds and stuff. And another thing is equivalent exchange, which I'm going to do an, an episode on. Because equivalent exchange is something I've only recently discovered, but it's a very, very, very powerful tool in tech that you can use to to get a lot of items and stuff, especially in terms of diamonds, which can be quite scarce at the start. And also over here we've got an MFSU powering the machine blocks over here that need power. And we've got things called transformers, which I'm not going to go into in this episode again because they, they're quite... It takes a little while to explain them. But basically they take the power... This is a medium voltage transformer, so it takes the MFSU, which outputs high voltage power, does it to a medium, does it to low, and then sends it to these machines, which only take low input. But again, I'll go into a lot more detail in that in another episode. And here, also, you might notice I've got this odd pipe system set up next to the macerator. Uh, this is untested, but it should work. But what it does is um, everything will come around here, and... The first ore that goes in there will be the one that's macerated for a little while. Once all that's done, you can have another bit of ore. But what's going to happen for everything else? So, if something else comes along here and there's something else in there, obviously it's going to pop out. This obsidian pipe should just, as soon as it pops out, it should just grab it and send it back around here. And then obviously it can't go back that way because the iron pipe there stops it. So you come back around here and you go straight to the macerator again. If it can be accepted, it goes in. If it's not, it just keeps going round and round. And you see, you get the idea. So that's for that, and then all the other stuff like the diamonds and rubies and sapphires and whatnot just comes around here into some simple sawing pipes and just goes into chests. So that's about it for this, this setup. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to actually set all this up. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so what the, what's that? Don't know what that is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is landmarks, and this is how you make the quarry bigger. So landmarks are just like redstone torches with a bit of lapis on top. So you, what you do is you put you put one of these down. I'm gonna... Nice one, Alex. Nice one. Put one of these down. We put one there. Right click it. Nothing happens. We follow where that one is. Put another one here. Let's turn around. Right click that, and you see it links up. So if we now follow this one along, where'd be a good spot? Probably here. Yeah, here. Right click that. See, it makes a square. See, that's bigger than the regular quarry. Max size you can go is 64 by 64. But it takes roughly an hour or something. Um, oh, I can't remember what the what the timing is like on how long they take. But obviously, the bigger they are, the longer they'll take. So 
So obviously when you've done that, put your quarry down next to one of the next to one of these. So I'm going to put mine here, and it see it puts the puts the the yellow and black bit all the way around where you put the landmarks where the red bit was. And that's how you set up landmarks. It's easy as that. So thanks for watching this bit, and we'll go on to part two. Okay, so I need to get, really need to get rid of that. Okay, so next thing we're going to look at is piping. And for the purposes of this, I'm not going to power the quarry because it would take too long to, to start moving and everything like that. But what you want to do is you need to grab some chests. Let's grab some chests first. Chest. I hope you can't hear my keyboard in the background. Oh dear. Chest. There we go. Right. Grab a couple of those. Chuck some over here. Make some double chests. That will do. Okay, so what you want to do for piping is you want you want you don't need wooden pipes because you're not actually extracting anything from the uh, the quarry. The quarry sends the blocks itself, so no wooden pipes required. So just put your stone or cobblestone transport pipes like just up here and not do that. So then come around here and let's go over a couple of the different pipe types, which you might or might not know. So come along here. We're going to put a gold pipe down. Gold pipes just make everything a lot faster. So we go a red. These need to be powered by a redstone current as well. So if we grab a redstone torch, put that there. That's now gone like an orangey colour. That means blocks will now travel down that a lot faster. So we get to here. We're gonna go like this. And we'll put a diamond pipe there. Actually, we'll demonstrate diamond pipes. What you wanna do is you wanna have a diamond pipe, and you wanna have like that, like that, and like this. So now what you're going to do here is you want to put, see the red one goes to that chest so we're going to put for, the, for this we're going to have red cobblestone going out of red so when a piece of cobblestone goes through that hits the middle the pipe checks if there's any cobblestone filters, sees there's a red one and we'll follow that and go into the chest. It's getting dark now. Uh, the yellow will do the same for gravel and it will check if there's if gravel piece of gravel goes in it will go oh yellow filter and go that way and exactly the same for blue with dirt for this case. So what? So that's that's pretty much your basic piping. Uh, if you want to go into a bit more detail, you could watch the piping video from me and my friend Matt did, which is it goes into some more pipes like obsidian and iron pipes. But for a basic quarry setup, this is what you want to have for in terms of piping. This makes things organised and easy to use. So that's it for the piping part, and we will see you in a minute for the next part. Okay, so I really forget to change that. <laughs> so for this bit, what you want to do is you need to, you need several things. You're going to need a macerator, some sort of furnace. I'd recommend an electric furnace for this. Or you can use iron furnaces, but they require coal and it's easier to power them with electricity. So you're going to need them. You're going to need some engines, some wooden pipes, and some stone, stone or cobblestone, redstone torch, and a chest, and some chests. So basically what you have with macerators is what you want to be macer macerated must go in the top that's an important thing with machine blocks whatever you're putting into the machine block must go in the top and inputs in the top and outputs out the side that's the golden rule with machine blocks so what, you, what will happen is you all will come down the pipes which we've just, just I've just explained over there somewhere and I thought it'd be better to come back to this one for the macerator because it's possibly going to get something soon so it comes in there hit to this uh, redstone engine which even though it's red, because it's connected to this pipe, will never explode. That's the good thing about redstone engines, but but they are not very fast. That's the only thing with them. So, macerated ore will come out of here in the form of dust, and you get two dust for every one ore. So that will come out of there from the quarry, out of there, along this to this electric furnace, which is also powered. The electric furnace will smelt the dust into bars, so you're obviously getting two dust for one for one ore and so you're basically getting two bars for every ore which is a really good thing that's then extracted the same method for an engine into this chest so that's 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 it for literally how to work the macerators they just need to be input in the top output out the side and to power them you know, I'm using something called an MFSU which I, I did explain about this earlier which outputs in 512EU although I'm just gonna call it high voltage for now this outputs in high voltage and macerators don't take high voltage they will explode not explode explode but the block will get destroyed if you attach it straight to a high voltage output 
So what I've got here is a, is a medium voltage transformer. This will take the high voltage, transform it down to medium voltage. This medium voltage will then trans... Well, this thing here, a low voltage transformer, will then turn the medium voltage volts into low voltage volts. And then send it down this glass fiber wire, which is the best form of wire. It'll down, and it's all linked up underneath. So all the wires are linked up. So this is powered, and you can tell it's powered by this little red arrow. If there's no red arrow, it's not powered. And that's powered, and we have the recycler over here, which I've actually linked up now. That is uh, doing its thing as well. See, now what you can see here, I can show you some diamond pipes in action. There's some lots and lots and lots and lots of dirt coming out of here. Unfortunately, there's nothing else at the moment. But it's obviously, there's no filter for dirt in there, so it's just leaving it and going along. It can't go up the top because nothing, there's no nothing that says dirt go up. Comes along here. Again, sees it can go, sees the red filter, goes right. Comes up here, gets sped up a bit, and goes into this recycler. And as you can see, it's turning, it doesn't turn everything into scrap, but like every other maybe every three or four it turns one into scrap and that scrap is then getting extracted by this and turned into scrap the scrap is getting extracted yeah and just put into the chest as scrap itself and more, more about scrap I'll talk about in another talk about in another video because it's it can get like some nice stuff out of it I mean like nine of it will make one diamond so I, th I think it's nine it's eight or nine but yeah you can make diamonds out of that and that's basically how the macerator is set up and that's nearly everything here so as you can see it's really not it's not that but it's not that hard all you gotta have is your pipes power your quarry make sure it's digging pipe it put it into the machine blocks again with the golden rule you must input in the top output at the sides and outputs require wooden extraction tubes if you're if you're ugh, storm um, if you're, I'm going to turn the sound down a bit, it's probably quite loud. Um, if you're extracting, you must have a wooden wooden pipe, but obviously more, there's, if you want to learn more about pipes, and I did use an obsidian pipe, but obviously I've not had, it, it's not come into play during this, but if you want to learn more about pipes, go watch the, um, as I said earlier, go and watch the, the pipe video that me and my friend Matt did, and that will teach you a lot about pipes, and that's about it really for this. I've explained everything about the pipes and the, the machine blocks, but yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing. Um, what can I demonstrate this? This iron pipe. Say you want to change what direction iron pipes. I, I'm not going to explain what iron pipes do, but you want to change the the filter direction or what direction it can and can't go. You get th this wrench. There's this wrench and there's this wrench. This wrench is for pipes, and what you can do is you can change where things can and can't go with the iron pipes in this case and rent this wrench if you destroy this block with a, anything made with machine blocks if you destroy that with a pickaxe you will not get the electric furnace back you will get a machine block which is needed to make it if you hit it with a wrench you will get the whole iron furnace and I've just lost it there it is now you get the iron furnace if I now go back up and put me in get me grab a diamond pick quick uh, pickaxe. There it is. We'll grab a diamond pick. Uh, we'll put ourselves back into survival, and then we'll try and. Oops. See, now I only get. No, oh, I did get it back. That's an odd one. Usually, you only get machine blocks if you break it with a with a pickaxe. Let's try again. No, nope, I got an electric furnace. That's really weird. I just ate my own words there. Ah, there we go. Right. Now, as you can see, I've just broke the macerator. That, now I have a machine block, not a macerator. That was the one from earlier that I was placing, demonstrating with. So that's why, I'm, that's why you should always break machine blocks with a wrench and not fall down holes in survival mode. Um, that's a really nasty storm. But yeah, that's why you should never break blocks with anything. Well, you should never break machine blocks with anything but this wrench which you can make with a bit of bronze, which is not hard to get. Okay, so that's it. And I know this was a lengthy video, but it's more than it's more than worth watching, so especially if you want to learn how to get nice quarry setups going. But a lot of what you can learn with tech is more it's more or less you just have to experiment with it and just try different things out and if it works it brilliant. If it doesn't try again. 
just keep experimenting with it and you should you'd, you'll eventually get there I mean when I first started learning it you just you just have to keep trying and then you eventually you just get stuck in your brain what to do and you just know like like just doing this I just did this in about five minutes so you learn, you learn eventually and also one last thing while I'm on here I'm actually starting myself a, a tech it server but it is going to be invite only so if you'd like to come on the server what I'd like you to do is make a video to set up some ticket things like set up one of these have a really nice setup uh, make a video of it with you record it uh, just take us a, take us around a tour of it explain what it does how you set it up and everything like that and if I if I if I like what you've done and I think that you're gonna be good for the server I'll send you a message and we'll see if we can get you on the server so that's it for everything else I know this has been a very lengthy video so thank you for watching uh, if you could leave a like or anything don't really mind That'd be awesome. So thanks for watching and goodbye.